Hello, Happy New Year, everyone. I am Gallum, and、uh, I haven't posted any videos since 2017. So I guess this will be my very first makeup video.、Uh, I just put some moisturizer onto my skin. I'm gonna use some of the new product that I bought just last year, probably like December or early this year, to show you. Maybe a different type of makeup techniques. So I have recently purchased these、uh, Addiction Makeup Foundation. They're super light. The best thing is they comes with SPF 30 and the PA plus plus plus. So they have like probably five to six shades. I bought the darkest one, which is 05, and then the light, slightly lighter one is 04. So I'm gonna first shake the 05, which. Is supposed to be the darkest shade. I am. I think it will be fine on my skin, even though it looks do looks lighter right now when you put it on my on the back of my hand. I'm gonna put it onto the face with my fingertip. So basically, you can just like blend, cause. This foundation is so thin. I love it. So if you have quite good skin, I would highly highly recommend you to use. So for the forehead, make sure that every single tutorial I'll I'll remind you to blend into your hairline. Remember to put some onto your eyelid, just because sometimes the color of our eyelid is quite different than the rest of the face. I'm gonna use a sponge to make sure the makeup is not so heavy, but yet you know, like good enough to stay for longer night, longer duration. You see, you can still see products here. So I'm gonna use this Nars、um, Super Creamy Concealer, and they do have a lot of shades. But in Hong Kong, I believe the darker shade is Ginger, which I'm gonna use.、Um, I normally don't directly apply onto my skin or my client skin, just because the germs. If you have like acne on your face, then it will go back directly inside, so which is not really good. So what you do, you can, I will show you, put underneath the eye, especially this corner. It's really important, like this. Once you cover it, you use a dapping motion. With your forefinger, you can see it can cover my dark circle. So this corner, once you cover, it kind of help to lift up your eye, which is quite amazing. Like if you don't have time to do any foundation in the morning when you go to work, maybe just use a concealer, gently dab underneath the eye, around these two corner, the side of the nose. The corner of the lips, and then automatically your skin will even out a lot. So this one is from Addiction as well, and it actually looks like a nail polish, but it's not. It's really interesting. It's like a nail polish. So what I'm gonna do, I just like brush a little bit. <laughs> They look like those Chinese ghosts, but um, I'm trying to find the name, but it's all in Japanese. But you will find it. They sell it in Harvey Nichols. I'm gonna smile and use two fingers to just pat it on to the apple cheek. I like it because、uh, now it's not very even, but it's okay. We can fix that. The stain. If I put my fingertips onto the towel, it's almost gone. Not like some other liquid blush. Oh my God! They tint their tint, so they actually like just stay on your hand for the whole day.、It、looks like you're bleeding. Just smile, because when your apple cheek pops out, so you see how this part is much more intense than this one. And then you use a sponge. You can get these from like a, a Sasa or Bonjour, like a pack of them. So gently tap, and then it become very natural. I'm gonna just use this amazing hourglass like a palette. I actually bought a single one of this color, which is called Radiant Light. So I'm gonna 
because they're actually like like um they have some different but i won't say it's like a lot to be honest they all work very well even though you chose the color which is lighter than your skin tone it won't really show it's not like the traditional powder you know if you choose one shade darker then your skin looks much darker or vice versa which means if you have like darker skin and let's say i have darker skin and i choose a lighter color you wow you see the reflection Ooh, scary yeah but anyway so um yeah like if i use the lighter one onto my skin it doesn't have that like you know grayish skin tone which is quite scary sometimes because in chinese it's kind of like fan for <laughs> flip over gray i don't know the brand name is called chaos c h a o s so i bought three products from them uh have tried them on my client and they look very highlight so the reason first thing i attracted well was tada it's really interesting actually it's like a rainbow shadow which they use for highlight but i guess you use the 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 brush take the product you really have to kind of blend it or if you do it it's kind of like maybe i'll try here just a little bit so you can already see the rainbow which is like a little bit yellow and then red like not red sorry like more pink i would say so i'm gonna just do it on the cheekbone so you can instantly see like your face looks more luminous i would say so that was the very first thing i got attracted to and then on the website i saw this kind of like creamy like uh, lime yellow not really like champagne yellow i think like kind of a highlighter it's cream but it's actually really amazing to make your skin super glowy but remember don't overload your highlight sometimes like you don't want to look like super shiny onto the camera so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use my fingertip dab underneath like my eye under the eye and like on this cheekbone if you have very severe eye bag i recommend you just take a little bit of this product kind of do it underneath here and put some matte matte powder so like if you don't if you put like luminous like more um mineral powder then obviously it looks like your eye bag is glowing but I find out that they actually help to take down the, the eye bags. Yeah, because that is quite tricky. I'm going to quickly do some contouring. So I'm just using a very basic MAC Pro Long Wear Press Powder in Dark Deep. So I'm picking up my NARS brush because I like this like flat kind of rectangular brush. So I can really focus on here. Some people like do the shading like here, but you see if I do shading, I look like a skeleton. I mean, I don't know. It just, I, I guess that everyone looks like, like do things a little bit different. So, but for me, I like to start usually like um, along the ear and then you go diagonal, but you don't go on to the blush. So what I do, I also, from the e loop go down and it's kind of like you see how this part is covered as well so don't just do shading here because you will see a black no like a darker part of shadow which is kind of weird because you want to also the shadow to go under the jawline which can really shape your face and quickly smudge along my hairline because definitely the scalp like here is lighter the hourglass 1.55 1.5mm eyeliner this one's in the color black gently press down the skin very gently because like if you're too much sometimes it'll take away the concealer which i guess like you can just 
you know, blend it and then make it disappear. So this will make the eye more framed and yeah, it's a bit scary, but sorry. So you pull and draw. This eyeliner is pretty good because it's like a gel liner, which means I believe because normally gel liner looks like this. This is from MAC, you know. I'm not a very big fan doing this on myself. I usually apply on my clients with gel liner because they tend to last longer and be more waterproof. But then when I do it on my own, I feel like it's a little bit time consuming. So this eyeliner gel, gel liner is actually really amazing. It makes it so much easier without using like a brush to dip into the pot of the gel. Right now, I'm going to like make it softer under the eye. So I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow palette. I really like this palette because it's called Dream Catcher Palette. I'm going to take a little bit of this, sorry, here, this color, which is like a dark brown. Tap, tap, tap. And then I'm just going to pull again and then go underneath So this way, it can make your eyes like softer and it's more evening, like smoky. One of my really good friend from Germany, who is also a makeup artist, whom I met in New York for our uh, airbrush course, gave me this. It's the Anastasia Glow Kit. So I'm gonna use this this time. I haven't really used this on my face actually. So I'm gonna, they have four colors sunburst and golden bronze bubbly and dripping in gold so for me i want to try bubbly i'm gonna take with my fingertips the product i'm gonna put at the corner of my eye just the corner but then i usually soften the upper part and then i'll do the other side i actually really like putting like uh, highlight at the corner because it does bring out the eye like it draws light to it I'm gonna show you um, how to do red lips I'm using uh, actually this is from Elizabeth Gardner the 8 hour cream so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the sponge to kind of take away the product Oh, I have these from Pat McGrath. I bought them a while ago. They look similar here, but I'll tell you, this one on my left is darker red. This one on the right is a very bright red. I'm gonna smile a bit. Okay, air top. So, you just use it correct on side and. Then the other side. You can do a little bit like that. So the top part will go underneath the lips, the lower lips. I find it best is this smile. Okay. When you smile, it just makes the line you can easier to do the straight line. What I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the lip brush, which is one of my favorite lip brush, and then I'm going to put it here, and then you just draw the outline. So I think that's pretty good. All right. It's at least the line is sharp. I'm gonna use this cotton pad. Just do one time. I'll do the other other side. Let the uh, 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 cotton take away some of the product, and then we do it again. So this way. The lipstick will stay very good. <laughs> it's like my Valentine gift 
some makeup artists teach that like you know you can put a tissue paper put a uh, pat some powder what i'm gonna do this powder it's also from addiction <laughs> but that's actually the darkest color which is not dark um for my skin at all because I, I mean like Japanese makeup brand tends to be quite light uh, Which is fine. I use it mostly on my clients Take the powder uh -huh. Yeah, definitely I actually feel like the lips get a bit matte Another trick. Okay, so basically this is a good trick this is also a concealer slash uh, corrector from YSL and it's number 5 which is the dark color I'm going to go around this I'm gonna use my fingertips Smile I have this funny story I remember just working on red lips there was one time we were at this like Miss Asia event wow a long long time ago and we actually have to change I'm gonna draw my eyebrow um, so we have to like change the lip color from like from nude to very red in the dark in the backstage for like they only give us like very quick quick like five minutes and I remember after the change, all the makeup artists were standing at the backstage looking at, looking at the TV on the monitor and we saw one of the uh, Miss Asia uh, lady, oh my god, she only had the top lips, upper lips with red and the lower with like, um, with a um, nude color which is kind of ridiculous, I mean Obviously, like someone who forgot to put the lower lips. I just quickly draw my eyebrow. I'm gonna brush it with this one to make it softer. I'm using this brush, just any soft brush, kind of like go like this direction and then this direction because I'm trying to give myself a nose bridge. Kind of like contour a little bit so yeah I'm gonna put some blush this is a super amazing palette that I love and this color itself cool surreal effects from hourglass smile that 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 smile that 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 okay I guess that's the end of the tutorial I'm sorry it's quite a long one it's like 30 minutes but maybe I'll break into half and post it later okay so this is the light time uh, like more evening light I guess in the studio because you see it's crazy when I turn on all the light it's like my face is white but it's actually slightly darker okay ciao